In other news, the Citizenship by Investment program has been responsible for turning around the fortunes of countries like Antigua and Barbuda and St. Kitts and Nevis. The United States and Canada has expressed concern with the program in the region. And Minister of Foreign Affairs and Aviation in St. Kitts and Nevis, Mark Brantley, says the country recognizes the potential risks it poses to the region. And his administration, which took office in February is already working to rebrand the program. Mr. Brantley says the details of his reform for St. Kitts and Nevis' economic citizenship program will be relayed to the United States, but not during this visit to the region by the U.S. President Barack Obama. It's a matter of concern, legitimate concern, uh, but equally it is an issue for us which has uh, done well in terms of transforming the economic fortunes of St. Kitts and Nevis. We were at one point one of the most indebted nations in the world. And we feel that the reforms that we brought into being and this particular program has assisted immensely in assisting us to move our economy forward. Uh, there is value in it. I think that for, for many, there's a suggestion that these are small countries doing something which is untoward. But the reality is, if you look to Europe, you have Malta, you have Portugal, uh, even the United States itself with its EB-5 visa program, Canada. Uh, it is no coincidence, I always tell people, that many of the Russian oligarchs have homes in London. Um, that wasn't by accident. I think that different countries have used their sovereignty in different ways to attract investment and attract development. And it is no different to what we are seeking to do. Having said that, however, we do have a responsibility to do it in a transparent manner and to do it in a way that does not pose any risks to our neighbors and friends. And that is the message that we have consistently uh, taken to the United States. As a new government, we are undertaking massive reforms now, and we hope to meet with them on a bilateral basis very shortly to update them as to those reforms. Is the Citizenship by Investment program a path that Jamaica will likely follow? Jamaica's Minister of Industry, Investment and Commerce, Anthony Hilton, says the thought is neither on or off the table. Every country, large and small, um, use their sovereignty in, in, in different ways. And with respect to citizenship um, um, programs such as this, the, the largest of the countries utilize them, the United States, Britain, Canada, uh, significantly. So, yes, it is a legitimate um, part of your um, of attracting investment and strengthening your economic um, arrangements. But we, we in Jamaica um, have not so far um, utilized that um, for a variety of, of reasons, but it is being looked at, I can, I can say, and um, for all the reasons the Minister of St. Kitts mentioned, you, it has to be finally balanced. You have to look at all aspects of it and come out with a balanced program that even as you seek to advance your own economic well-being, it protects um, your neighbors and, and, and relationships. So we're doing that kind of balancing and act that assessment, um, but it, it, it will not be the main pillar of our investment strategy, but it could be a supplementary or complementary to some other things that we're looking at.